Yvonne and welcome to having you on. Well, if you're looking for my doll show haul, you found the right video. Yay! <laughs> and I have my sweet Ashlyn. No, I didn't get Ashlyn at the doll show, but um, uh, she is wearing something that I happen to get at the baby shower. Yeah, she is. She's modeling it very, very well. And the baby shower was so much bigger than it was last year. Um, you may have seen in my video of the, ba of the baby shower where I was talking about rotating the packages, uh, uh, presents around the table. Well, not only did we do that this year, but we exchanged with half the other side of the room. <laughs> they would give us questions, and one of the questions was exchange with someone with brown eyes. And so <laughs> the gifts were uh, constantly going back and forth, and a few of them, <laughs> I will confess, a few of them that ended up with boxes that they suspected were babies refused to trade. <laughs> Well, I don't think I would either, so. <laughs> but I did end up with a wonderful, wonderful gift, and it's so perfect because, you know, I'm so appreciative to things that are handmade because it, the part of the person that made it goes into the item that they made, and um, as I said in the baby shower, uh, this, this gift was from Lori Duncan, and a I found in the label that she has Itsy um, shop and it is called Fancy Pants. So it's very, very cute um, outfit. Look at me, look at this. It's like ruffles, ruffles, and look at these pants. Oh, you can't see her shoes. I want to make sure you see her shoes because I picked out shoes just for these pants. <laughs> they have little, little flowers on them. Yeah. But, um, uh, she must have quilting experience because she knows how to do colored fabrics together and so it's wonderful look at that <laughs> it's so fun it's so fun um i think if you had a clown this would be something that you'd want to have made you know in a different you know kind of circusy colors and sort of thing um i just love it it's so sweet and Ashlyn is doing a, such a good job modeling it. You are. Look at you. Look at you. Would you like to see more of my haul? Oh, you would? Oh, okay. So come along with me. Okay, you're going to say, well, wait a minute. That's nothing to do with Reborns. Well, it is actually. This is a handy dandy item that I just had to get, and I'm going to test it out. It goes in the bottom of your oven and it allows you to place the limbs on these pegs to keep the limbs from touching the side of the oven as well as to get an even cook. <laughs> so I'm going to give it a try and see how it works. Unfortunately, I lost the receipt on this and there were some other uh, reborn artists and mommies that purchased them and I'm hoping that they'll share the information um, where uh, they got this and it's just so clever and I had to have one and let's go on and see All right, more to start with, I got this bountiful baby bag but that's not part of my haul but it does provide a nice surface for me to place this beautiful christening gown it has hand embroidered design on the bodice and part of its machine done and part of its hand stitched so I have no idea how old this is but it's beautiful I happened to get it at Rochelle and Angela's booth. They're right next door to each other. Um, it's Angela Flanders and Rochelle was selling antique goodies and I couldn't resist this beautiful christening gown. I was told that um, a person I had found, uh, well actually had gotten this chest and it was filled with family gowns from like the 1800s and had their names on them and stuff. I don't think it's this, I don't believe that this one is that old, but it is lovely and I thought of my Morticia for this lovely gown. I kind of think of her, you know, as uh, a little baby from the past and I had her on my mind while I was shopping apparently. <laughs> um, I also got these cute little adorable booties at Rochelle's booth and they're um, trimmed with satin ribbon and made really well and you know a little bit soft to the touch and little buttons for eyes 
for the bunnies and for a dollar I could not pass them up <laughs> I could not and also at Angela Flanders booth because they were right next to Rochelle's uh, she had for sale this jimbery vintage jimbery I didn't know there was vintage jimbery but there was vintage jimbery and I'm sorry for the shadow that I can see now but I will bring it closer so you can see the detail of the smocking on here it's just gorgeous and it has a little English look and you know we always look for little English things <laughs> for our babies and it's just beautiful smocking and at the bottom it has this lovely detail and I don't think you can find any more so I was very happy to find that and I had a little baby on the mind apparently well, before I get to that, I also got this bottle at Angela Flanders uh, booth, and it's glass, and I didn't have this one, <laughs> so I had to have that. You know how it goes. And um, as I said, I have little babies on my mind. I don't know why. <laughs> I have little babies on my mind. And I got this beautiful little smocked um, outfit. I don't know if it could be a dress. Certainly could be a dress for a small baby or a little outfit because it has pantaloons with it. It's ever so sweet. Ever so sweet. And I love the little detail of the lace at the bottom. It's so cute and sweet. And it says, All Sews Smocking by Judith. I don't know if Judith made this at the booth because it was at the end of someone's booth and um, the clothing was hanging on a rack. And I just grabbed it and I moved on. I did some fast shopping too. <laughs> and when I saw little lovely things for my babies, I just had to have them if they were reasonable. <laughs> Don't go crazy now. And at this other booth, and I'm sorry, it says on the list reserved, so I can't, I don't fully recall who had um, had this booth, but she had found these antique bibs. These antique bibs, um, and what she did is she cleaned them and brought them back to like new and she embellished them by running a ribbon through them and having little flowers there and she had other colors for sale I think there was a blue one and a pink one and I saw the yellow one and I thought well that's just beautiful so I had to have a little yellow one yeah so pretty yeah do you want to see more of my haul oh you do okay, okay. so Come what did I get at the Bountiful Baby booth well I happened to get this new product they're going to be selling very soon it's not available just yet it's called angel silk unbelievably soft polyester fill you know it's filled for our babies and it is they had a sample there for you to uh, touch and another reborn artist because uh, i couldn't describe what it was what it felt like and she said it perfectly she said she had an angora rabbit and when she brushes her angora rabbit, the fur comes out. And this is how soft this is. So if you have angora rabbit, this is incredibly soft. And I happen to have, um, they had the Dolly Hospital. So I bought an extra bag and had my Mary Ann uh, re-stuffed with this angel silk. Um, incredibly soft, <laughs> unbelievably soft polyester fiber fill and uh, mixed with the other that she had there. So she'd be super soft in spots and stiff where she's supposed to be. And <laughs> and it made her incredibly wonderfully and um, gave her a nice squishy bottom and a squishy tummy and is so wonderful. So they'll be having this on their website soon so you can get some. But uh, I just wanted to share that with you. And I got some extra so I can restuff some more babies. Oh, is there more? Yes, yes I'll show they had these totes for sale and they sold out really quick. I was quite surprised. But um, the cute little tote and canvas bag and it's nicely designed and I kind of have it. <laughs> so I went ahead and bought it and at the baby shower, I forgot to mention that I got this and it's so cute. Um, it's the cap is a little mitten, a little mitten and inside is the other mitt and it has a little pacifier and googly eyes and has a little onesie tied on it's so cute and what else did i have to have okay let me see they had these blankets for sale i could make the blankets myself of course but okay did i need a blanket no <laughs> did i have to have this one yes because it had little rubber duckies on it and immediately when i saw it i started hearing the song from sesame street that ernie would sing as 
rubber ducky. <laughs> so, and it has little bubbles, and I had to have it. And Nani's No Hole Nipples. Oh, she also included a free one in the, you know, grab bag that they gave you at the door. Um, but I can't seem to find the items that was in the grab bag. <laughs> I don't know what happened to them. I hope they turn up. I hope I pack them. I hope I didn't leave them at the hotel, but I did get a whole bag of them. So um, I controlled myself this time. I only got 10. <laughs> I thought that was good. And I also went ahead and got some crowning needles. Needles, needles. So, and they were reasonably priced. I don't know how many is in the bags. Do I? Oh, 25. 25, but I thought it was a fair price. So I had to have those. And the magnet pacifiers, absolutely love them. And I will show you them next. This one I hadn't seen before. It's clear. Um, this is a micro preemie. It's very small. I was hoping maybe a little tiny fairy or a little angel might need one. And it's so cute. So it's clear and I thought that was unique and had to have that. And it's going to grab those needles. I knew it would. <laughs> and I had to have this cute little pink one, uh, micro preemie. Um, I thought I bought more, but um, maybe I was being good, <laughs> which is rare. But I was trying really, really hard. Um, and I did get some micro preemie diapers instead of three. So, oh, there's a website right on there. Yeah, Nani's Angel Nursery.com. So um, you can order some of those. Um, I also had gotten these um, pacifiers that reminded me of the, what is that, honey bun that they have in the UK? And it reminded me of those. And I just thought it was sweet. And what size did I get? I have no idea. <laughs> it's called Cream Puff. And I, Anything that has food associated with it, I have to have. <laughs> I know, I'm, I told you it's gonna grab those, grab those needles and other pacifiers. And this is a white one, and it says Sweetheart and Snow White, and I just love the names. That's very clever, but she also had these sheets that you could buy that you could stick, oh, they are, Honey Bug on there. Oh, okay. Anyway, you add to the pacifier front, right here and it kind of gives it a different detail to it so you know you can pick out she had many many um, sheets of these stickers and I picked these because um, uh, they were girly and sweet but also this blue one I could possibly use for a boy and I thought that was sweet so yeah do you want to see more oh you do okay I also more run into some up. friends at the show and I'll talk about more of about that in another video but I do want to acknowledge them here um, I ran into Connie Klein and she gifted me it came in this little gift bag it's ever so sweet um, some goodies and I thought that was so sweet of her and she had this little owl clip for me a little pacifier not for me <laughs> but for one of my babies and it's shimmery and pretty and she said it could be perfect for a little Halloween time too so pretty so pretty yeah love that and another one that has little crystals in it very very pretty yeah pretty pretty and she also included uh, one of her burden bears it's ever so sweet thank you thank you connie for the burden bear he did help me on the second day <laughs> he did he did he did he did he works wonders he does and i also wanted to tell you i did find what was in that grab bag um i would just set it aside in my uh haul that uh, I did get a Nani's No Hole nipple there with a grab bag, and I got a, a bottle from Bountiful Baby with a Nani No Hole nipple in there. Yay! And um, Connie also gave me this wonderful ballet skirt for Tess. You know, she has her dance class, and it's a really pretty green, and she'll need that. And also this gorgeous red dress. Look at this red dress with all this... Oh, it's beautiful. This embroider here and the little ruffle at the end and an underskirt of red. It's just beautiful. It's a, I believe it's a vintage gap. It kind of looks like it to me. Um, baby cap. Yeah. So sweet. And you know who will look good in that? It will be <laughs> my Violet because we discovered Violet looks good in red. So I should have named her Ruby, but I named her Violet. So um, I'm still going to keep her uh, named Violet, but um, she definitely looks good in red. 
And she also, Connie also gave me these cute little booties to go with it. They're little red and white booties. So sweet. So sweet. And I did run into some more friends there. I ran into Eddie was there. He's so sweet. And I also ran into Dolly Babe there, Chris. And she's a lovely, lovely lady. And I really enjoyed um, meeting her and Oh, it was wonderful, and I'll talk more about my experience in another video. I just want to continue on with my haul, because there's quite a bit. <laughs> I didn't mean for it to be, but that's just what happened, because I wanted to make the most of my experience at the doll show. And I did pick up a Cami Rose. Yes, I did. Picked up a Cami Rose from Laura Lee Eagle's booth. I did, I did, I did. And um, you saw what... Um, she looked like in the prototypes and here's some more kits I bought I couldn't stop myself well <laughs> I did good I was very very good I didn't go overboard I was really hard not to but I did get a, Tom, a Tommy yeah I did get a Tommy he's so cute he's so cute Suzanne's babies has a Tommy yeah a little Alfie yeah so so cute I had to have that one and at Nani's, I had to get a sculpt. I don't know why. She had a big container of sculpts she was selling, our kits, and I had to get this one. Who is this? I know you can't see. This is Nelly by Cassie Brace. I'm going to take the head out. It's just going to be the head, so don't be, you know, thinking you're going to see a full baby. But this is um, Cassie Brace. Um, kit and this was Nelly and, and I'm going to have a, sweet. a video up of my experience and how I traveled and things that happened they're quite entertaining and I wanted to share them with you but I have another little sculpt that I want to share with you I had to get over at mm, was it Irresistibles yes over at Irresistibles and it's cute little cute little I just thought it was so sweet a little bit elf a little bit very a little bit angel I'm not quite sure yet but it was um, petunia petunia kit and I also got the body and I also got the belly plate yeah you know winters winters um, sculpted this I was going to get it off her site but there it was right there at the doll show and I had to get it and there's one more thing I wanted to show you, so come Okay, with one me. last item that I did get at the Rose Doll Show. Oh, I'll, tell you, I'll show you in another video. Stay tuned. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Yvonne, and thank you for watching, having you on. Stay tuned for more so you can see the baby. That's all for now.